Hello there, and welcome back to the final day of Longtail's week. In this one, we're just going to be drawing some cute ship art of Longtail and Mouse Fur because I think they're so cute. Sure, they might not be an official couple, but they're very good friends, and so I ship them. I'm just going to be doing a quick overview in this speed paint of the rest of Longtail's life. So if you guys don't want spoilers, then maybe this isn't the speed paint for you. Because, I mean, I give spoilers all the time. Kind of the thing about these speed paints, they're just total spoilers. So after Longtail lost his eyesight, as we saw in the last speed paint, he is worried that he no longer has a place in ThunderClan, but Firestar assures him, sure, he might not be able to continue on as a warrior and train his apprentice, but he'll always have a place in the Elder's Den. I mean, what a great place just to sit on your booty and do nothing for the rest of your life. As we transition over to the second series of Warriors, the new Prophecy series, now as a blind elder, Longtail decides to take part in the great journey. He was originally planning on staying behind in the forest to starve to death with his friend Speckletail and Frostfur. But luckily, Firestar convinces him to make the journey. What would we do without Longtail in the new Prophecy series and onwards? That would be so sad. Honestly, those are his best years when he's like an elder, just like hanging out with Mouse Fur in the Elder's Den. So along the way on the journey, him trekking along, being blind, he becomes better friends with Mousefur and Goldenflower because they take care of him on this huge journey because he can't see, so trekking in the blind, how miserable must that be? In the power of three, he helps Brightheart out with training J-Paw because, you know, he's kind of a master of being blind at this point and has some knowledge to share with little J-Paw. Which is interesting because Longtail became blind later in life, and Jake Paul was born blind, so he's kind of got a different perspective on it. In the Omen of the Stars series, Longtail strikes up a beautiful friendship with Purdy. I just love Purdy, he's always got the best stories. And I do remember that Longtail and Mousefur are often subjected to Purdy's elongated stories, and I mean, they are so long and pointless most of the time. But they don't seem to mind too much, they put up with him. But then the fateful day comes, where a beech tree in ThunderClan begins to fall. For some reason, Mousefur wants this mouse to be retrieved, because she doesn't want to leave it behind for some reason, and so she's gonna go after it, but then Longtail's like, no, don't do it, I'll get it. And so he runs back to get the mouse, and he's followed by Briarpaw, and the tree falls on the two of them, crippling Briarpaw and killing Longtail. Such a sad death, and like, I couldn't- they saw a falling tree, just like, get out of there. It's a mouse, it's not gonna matter, but... We have two characters get taken out by this tree, Briar Light's life is never the same, and Longtail's life is over. But I do think it's super sweet that in The Last Hope book, Longtail, now a spirit of Star Clan, has regained his sight, and he takes part in the last battle, where he's reunited with Mousefur and Purdy. And when Mousefur is killed by a dark forest cat, Longtail flies into a rage and brutally mauls Mousefur's killer, causing them to fade from existence. When the battle is over, Longtail helps guide Mousefur into Starclan. Ah, so we hope you guys enjoyed this speed paint. We just wanted to draw the two of them together. They're so adorable! I just wanted to give a special thank you to everyone over on my Amino that took part in the Character of the Week contest this week. These were the featured posts from my Amino. Look at these awesome posts! So much talent and dedication put into these. It is so fun to see everyone take part in the Amino and to see everybody's different style of drawing characters and different scenes from their lives. Longtail was our fifth Character of the Week so far. Wow, it's already been going on for a month. That's so crazy. And I'm excited to announce that the sixth character of the week, the one we'll be focusing on this week, is Swiftpaw. I think that's really fitting because he is Longtail's apprentice. And we're excited to be doing some speed paints of him as well this week. Remember, for the next seven days, customs of Swiftpaw will be 50% off on our Etsy store. Check out the links down below and join my Amino to take part in the fun with Swiftpaw this week. Just remember to add the hashtag COTW on all Swiftpaw related posts that you make this week, whether they be original artwork or fan fictions. Can't wait to see them! 
And who knows, maybe you'll even be featured on the front page of my Amino, or in the next video where I announce the new character of the week. Until then, love you guys all so much. Bye-bye.